Friday afternoon basketball action from the Gannetta Astodome coming your way via Vintage Enterprises. San Miguel Beer versus Show Rimmel X. San Miguel starting off with Calma, Agustin, Peng Mar Martin, Kai Dick, and Show with Magsanok, Alvarez, Lane, Paras, and Joey Guanyo. Surprise starter here for Shell, Joey Guanyo, who is known for his outside shooting. And he'll probably want to match up the outside shooting prowess of uh, Otto Augustine and Alan Kaidik. So Benji Paras ran into Eric Martin and had some problems inside. Otto Augustine is fouled as we introduce the referees for this game. Bernie de Dios, Baila Desma, and Ernie de Leon. First foul of the game called on Joey Guanyo. And notice how quickly Hector Calma pushed up that basketball on the first offensive attempt here of San Miguel Deer. And also notice Eric Martin was actually the first one on the other end of the floor, racing up court. Well, he displayed a lot of speed and agility in his uh, first appearance here in the PBA against Swift. At Augustin looking around, Alan Kedick with a nice pick over Joey Guanyo. Very coolly sinking that bucket. Bong Alvarez losing possession inside the lane. That's the second time that Shell has given up possession. At Augustin challenges Benji Paras. And Benji will pick up his first personal foul in this game. And as you take a look at this slow-mo fast break, Jerome Lane not at all within blocking distance. In fact, he was not even in that picture frame that yeah. we saw. And this is one reason why San Miguel Beer will want to play a breakneck pace in this particular match because they don't want Jerome Lane to set up in defense as much as possible. They want to leave him behind. I guess uh, that also shows you the respect that Coach Norman Black has for this big man Jerome Lane. They don't want to have to engage him uh, in a half-court uh, offense because he clogs the lane with his huge body. Benji Paras tries it from the outside and misses. Alvin Tang for the rebound. Well, you mentioned sacrifice the body as one of the imperatives for San Miguel Beer in this particular ball game. That's right, Ed. Uh, I feel that... Against, Ger against Jerome Lane? <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, with someone like Jerome Lane and Benji Paras, you know, they're, they're awesome when it comes to hauling down the offensive mm -hmm. boards. And for Shell to take two or three attempts at the basket would murder for San Miguel Beer. What they need to do is to put a body between Jerome Lane and some of the big men of Shell, between them and the basket. And uh, if that will mean sacrificing your body to be able to stop Jerome Lane from getting an offensive rebound, that's what San Miguel might have to do. I doubt if you'll have too many volunteers, but... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about offensive rebounding, and uh, in the first game that Lane played, he had six offensive rebounds. He had a total of 20 rebounds. Right. And that was a loss to Purefo. It's a heartbreaking loss that Shell suffered. Ronnie Magsanoff getting away, not quite. Eric Martin was right behind him, stayed with Ronnie Magsanoff, got the shot block. Still, Ronnie Magsanoff had a good idea yeah. to try to penetrate the lane, try to challenge the big men. Of course, he wasn't aware that Eric Martin was lurking behind him. But you notice that uh, Shell is attacking the inside. Talking about attacking the inside, Eric Martin doing what he does best, slamming it home off the break. Yes, and he is one of the best finishing imports we've seen in a yes. long time and you know I think one reason for that is his youth his uh, his exuberance and also his stamina he's got a pair of fine legs he's a thoroughbred bad pass by Jerome Lane picked off by Ato Agustin here comes Hector Calma sees an opening to the hole goes right for it and look out it is a seven to nothing lead for San Miguel Beer and here's a Shell now trying to slow down the pace. These are some of the things we took up in the pregame. Note, I, I didn't discuss this with any of the coaches. Huh? <laughs> nice pass inside. Jerome Lane has shown that time and again. He knows how to dish off. And in spectacular fashion is that. 
to his open teammates. I think Jerome Lin is a very underrated uh, import. Uh, you've got to say that the man is talented because if not, he wouldn't have lasted five years in the NBA True. having played for uh, four clubs. Alvin Tang scores, uh, scores from inside the keyhole and it's a 9-2 to two lead for San Miguel Beer. Eight minutes and 39 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Bong Alvarez. Here's Benji Paras. Strong move inside. Alan K. Dick, wide open. First triple V in the ball game from the trigger band as the defense crumbled in that particular play. Well, Kai Dick was wide open. Eric Martin on the strong side, and he dished off cross court, and that confused the defensive shell. Magic shot by Benji Pras will count, says referee Baila Desma. A goaltending violation called there. Watch it here. Eric Martin challenging any shot that comes his way <laughs> inside the paint. Uh, Martin is known as a good shot blocker. Mm -hmm. So that time he was just a split second late. There goes Alan K. Dick. Alvarez coming down with a rebound off to Ronnie Magsano. Inside the paint, Magsano misses. Martin off to Agustin. Agustin to Calma. Yes. Calma already with four points in this game. On well, the breakneck uh, pace that you were talking about, uh, as far as San Miguel Beer is concerned, is being employed by the Beermen as of this juncture. Well, it is also paying off. You notice that they've been able to score from around the keyhole area without Jerome Lane right. bothering the shots. And the reason for that is Jerome Lane is getting left behind in defense, precisely because of that breakneck pace. Eric Martin challenging Benji Paraz. And no help defense that time. Well, it's going to be stop, uh, It's going to be tough to stop Eric Martin one-on-one, -on -one, as Benji Paraz showed. He does not have the ability oh, to keep oh. pace with uh, Eric Martin on a single coverage basis. Bong Alvarez double team. Well, he was blocked from behind by Alan Kaidik. And here we go again, San Miguel Beer stepping on the gas. Eric Martin, out to Allen. Hey, Dick. Well, he lost his footing that time. Yes. He also lost the handle. Three on, oh, four on, on one. Floor. And, and Joey Guano. Looks like Allen's hurt again. Well, he's moving out of uh, the playing court area. And he is limping. <laughs> He lost his footing on that drive to the hoop. That's also why he lost his handle. Um, Jerome, let's look at that again. I think Jerome Lane. Oh, there was that here. A couple of fake moves there by Jerome Lane and Bong Alvarez. And na ilang si ano? Might have, might have stepped on, on Bong Alvarez's uh, foot Could also. Be, yes. Mm. As he was moving in. Which caused him to lose his balance. Alan seems all right. Meantime, a timeout is called by San Miguel Beer. Six minutes and ten seconds remaining in the first quarter of this game. Alan K. Dick stays in the game. He's all right. And San Miguel Beer with a six-point lead at 16-10. Down from the high of eight, which they established early in this ball game. Here's Alan. San Miguel Beer shooting 7 out of 11 from the floor so far against 5 out of 11. Jerome Lane and Joey Guanyo both failing to tip it in. And Guanyo gets another offensive rebound. Here's Lane trying to get more aggressive off a triple team. Hector Kama will be charged with his first personal foul. Team foul story. So far, two apiece for San Miguel and Shell. 5.36 to go, first quarter. Still a six-point lead for San Miguel Beer. Bong Alvarez. Low post, Jerome Lane. Turn around, jumper. 
Now for that pass, Jerome right. Lane shooting straight from the baseline off a turnaround. That's a pretty tough shot for someone who doesn't, who's not supposed to have a good offensive stroke. Lead is down to four. Alan Tedek, top of the key. Ronnie Magsanov gets to the loose ball. Ronnie wants to set it up. Bong Alvarez. Out to Magsanov. Got the layup. And this is the closest that Shell has come since we started the ball game. Of course, it's two to nothing. 16-14, just a two-point lead now by San Miguel Beer. Illegal defense. Just a warning on Shell Rimula X. Coach Norman Black dispatching fans Pumaran to the official stable. He will relieve Hector Kalma. Franz Pumaran. Of course, we know him also as the president of the Players Association. Yes. Eric Martin versus Jerome Lane. Rebound by Lane. His pass is deflected, but it's picked up by Benji Paras. Four on three. Paras takes it inside. Back to the basket shot. Edward tied at 16. Single-minded effort there by Benji Paras. Even as there were three beer men blocking his path to the hoop, but nice sidestepping move. Six points now for Benji. First deadlock of the ball game. Eric Martin. Off the glass. Certainly he had to work harder for that shot against a guy like Jerome Lane. That's right. He didn't have the benefit of the screen that time. Yeah. He had to use the window and put that ball inside. Now Lane must play tougher defense on Eric Martin. Lane actually gave him that shot from outside. Ooh. Get away by Bong Alvarez! But his duck shot rimmed out. Alan Kaidek, easy layup. And once more a transition basket by uh, San Miguel. One of the points that we talked about for Shell in the pregame, they've got to be able to get back on defense because San Miguel Beer likes to play the transition attack. And it's back to a four-point lead by the beer, man. Double team on Jerome Lane. Look nice at the wing. Curl. He split it. Nice curl by Jerome Lane going towards the baseline. Yes. And a poor double teaming defense by San Miguel yeah. Beer because they covered. He shrugged it off. That's right. Well, they covered his, uh, actually his left side, but right. he moved towards the right. Uh, but they gave up the baseline for Jerome Lane. You don't do that. Alvin Tang, soft touch. On the jumper, and a timeout called by Coach Joe Lipa of Shell. Two minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the first quarter of this game between San Miguel Beer and Shell Rimula X. Currently, San Miguel with a four-point lead at 22-18. to 18. The closest that Shell was, come, was able to go was to tie the, the uh, score at 16-all. And uh, Shell, 16 out of its 18 points coming from the inside. That's what we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. The shell must concentrate its attack inside. They've got to get interior firepower. Like so. But Jerome Lane missing the shot. At Augustin. Foiled by Benji Paras. Well, at the rate that shell is scoring from the inside, um, I guess you'll have to say that uh, San Miguel is not playing the kind of defense it must underneath that basket. They've got to be able to tighten up inside. And I think the uh, onus or the responsibility should weigh heavy on the shoulders of this man, Eric Martin, to play tough inside defense. Well, Coach Norman Black has also sent in Don Polistico to try and beef up that interior defense. Let's see what he can do. Uh, that was a tough, uh, you know, that was a mm. tough shot that Eric Martin yes. just uh, put up. It was a baby hook with the left hand. And under extreme pressure. At your own lane, you notice how... Uh, Don Polistic was tagging off on him. Yes. He won't mind Jerome Lane taking an outside shot. Three seconds on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Jer Jerome Lane getting the offensive rebound. His pass inside uh, slipped from the hands of Benji Paras. Three on two by San Miguel Ato Agustin. 
nice passing play. You know, you have to credit Eric Martin. Usually in import, you'll want to try to finish mm -hmm. off a fast break. But not Eric Martin. He likes to make that extra pass, and that's what's make, that, that is what makes him a very versatile and uh, all-around good player. Jerome Lane kicks it out to Benji Perez. Power move inside. Bong Alvarez leaping high, but losing it as he put the ball down. And Alan Kaidik off the break, misses that one. But, but he, he comes up with a steal. Kaidik leaning in on Ronnie Magsanov will be called for the offensive foul. Lucky break for Shell because Kaidik made that basket off his steal. Alan Kaidik going up against two Shell men. And actually, Franz Pomarin was open on one wing. Yes. But Alan didn't see that. So with less than a minute remaining here in the first quarter, an opportunity for Shell to cut this eight-point lead at 26-18. Bong Alvarez has been replaced by Jojo Martin. Bench Paras drawing There's a double, double team. team. There you go with the steal. Four on two. And Alan Kedick certainly knows how to do that. Finish yeah. off the break. And San the Miguel. biggest lead of the game at 10. San Miguel Beer filling up the lane so well and catching the defense of uh, Shell really out of sync. They're not getting back uh, quickly on defense enough. Ronnie Magsanov looking at Jerome Lane. There's the kick out. Giorgio Martin, or rather uh, Joey Guano from way out with five seconds on the shot clock. Now it's five seconds on the game clock. Alan Kaidik gets a good look at the basket. Misses the shot. Benji Paraz is challenged in the air by Art De La Cruz. Neither team in penalty, so no free throws here. 1.3 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Back court inbounds by Shell. Joey Guano. Almost. But they'll have to settle for a 10-point deficit. Shell. Down 28 to 18 as we go to the second quarter. <laughs>